Hey y'all, Captain Shane Griffin, Let's Fish. In today's video is a part two. I've already changed the oil in the Yamaha 250. Now we're gonna do the lower unit gear oil in the 250. Uh, it's quick and easy, gonna show y'all how to do it. Uh, let's start off with what you're gonna need. All right, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need gear oil, obviously. Um, this I'm using the Yamaha lube. This is the uh, gear case lube for my lower unit. Um, you need a oil pump. You don't necessarily have to have it, but it makes it a whole lot easier. I'm gonna show y'all how to use that. It's very, very simple. You're gonna need a screwdriver, flathead, um, kind of with a, with, a, with, a big, uh, with a big head on it, and you're gonna see why. All right, y'all, oh, and your oil rings. You're gonna, I mean, O-rings. You're gonna re wanna re replace both O-rings on the screws that we're gonna take out. Uh, gonna show y'all that here in just a little bit. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, to get started, you wanna trim your engine up, which I already did. Uh, you have a screw here, that's a flat head, and we gotta pull this off to get to the other screw. We're gonna do that right now. Pull this cover off, it's going to be a number four uh, millimeter Allen wrench. There's a little hole right here. You just put your number four in there. And that's how you're gonna pull this cover off right here, y'all. So remember, it's going to be a number five for your your Allen heads that go around the the cover on your uh, engine to change your motor oil. And this is a number four right here. The other side just popped off. This side is off. Don't want to lose that. Set that over to the side. Now we're going to go right around here to the other side. And there is your sc other screw. Uh, that's actually where your oil is going to drain from. So um, you actually want to pop this one off first. Um, and when you do, you know, we're going to put the something right here to catch the oil. But when you pop this one off first, it's actually not going to start pouring until we loosen this top one. Once we loosen this top one, then your oil is going to come out of there really good. All right, y'all, let's get to it. All right, y'all, now you can use any oil container you want. I took a one of my Yamalu things. I just cut off. Uh, a little bit right here, so I still have the handle on there. Like I said, you're gonna want to loosen this. These sometimes are on there kind of tight. They shouldn't be. They should be hand tight. This one was actually pretty easy. As you can see, there's not much coming out right now. But when I pop this top one off in a second, that's when it's gonna start flowing pretty good. So now, you want to go right here to the, the top one, right here. Y'all can see that with the screwdriver. We're going to loosen this. And when we do, the oil is going to start flowing pretty good out of the bottom one. Basically, you're just releasing that pressure. There you go. You see how I loosen this? It's off now. And then you can see that oil coming out. And these two screws, most of the time, are, t are two different sizes. The one on the bottom is longer. It has a magnet on it. The one on the top is shorter. It does not have a magnet. All right, y'all, something I want to show you. This is the screw on the, on the, uh, the bottom this is your, your your bottom drain plug for your lower unit. If you look at it, there's going to be little metal shavings on it. That's normal. Uh, don't freak out. You're just going to want to wipe these off, y'all. Just wipe them off. Just clean it up real good. And get it nice and clean. We're also going to replace this O-ring. So go ahead and pull this O-ring off. You want to replace the O-rings on both screws. You do not want to take a chance of uh, of having a compressed O-ring and having water go up in your engine. So we're just going to pull that off. We're going to replace the O-ring of both screws. Let's go ahead and clean this, this screw off really good. All right, y'all, now we're going to replace the O-ring on both these right here with the, the new O-ring. 
very simple. Pull the uh, the old the old O ring off. Just put the new one on. All it is to it, y'all. Just put the, just put your new O ring on there. We're gonna take the top screw, even though this one actually looks brand new, and we're going to put a new O ring on it also. All right, y'all. It's pretty much done draining now. Uh, so what you want to do is go ahead and fill this bad boy up. I'm about to show you how to. All right. You're going to want to take your oil filter pump right here. Well, not oil filter pump. Pump your pump for your lower unit. Very simple, y'all. Pull it out. Some of them are universal. They're going to have two or three fittings on there. Uh, this one right here is pretty much made for what I want to do with it. Um, you take the straw, put it inside this right here, just like so. Open up your open up your lower unit gear lube like so. You're gonna take this. And screw it on top of your your oil just like that y'all very simple now what we're gonna do you're gonna take this fitting right here pull my little cap off there screw this on there Screw this right here into your into the bottom hole. Once that's on there like that, very easy, y'all. Literally, all you're gonna do, we're gonna pump this oil right here out of out of the container into your lower unit until it starts coming out of the of the top hole right here just a little bit just until it starts coming out of there just just a hair so literally you're just gonna start pumping it as you can see the oil is going up through the tube going into the lower unit this one should take all of one of these containers and just a little bit of the other one Okay, y'all, all the oil is out of this one, as you can see, getting some air now. We're gonna go ahead and pull this one here, the top off of this one. You're gonna open up your other, your other thing of oil right here. I know I might say oil a little different, y'all. It's my southern accent, I'm from Georgia. Even though I'm a fishing guy down here in Louisiana. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. Put it in the, the other thing of oil. Screw that on there. As like I said, now you want to pump it till it starts barely coming out of the top. So here we go. Like I said, it's going to take all of one quart and just a little bit of the other one. All right, y'all. There you go. We know we're full. It just started coming out. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? Let me put this right here just to catch a little bit of it. Not much. Now what you want to do? You want to go ahead and put the top one on. Remember, we've already changed the O-ring, so just screw the top the top screw down. One down again, flat head. Just hand tight. Don't need to don't need to go all crazy with it. There we go. Just hand tight. And now. When we pull this off the bottom, obviously there's going to be a little bit of oil, but having the reason you want to put that top one on there first, it's actually going to help hold that oil in there. It's going to help, you know, um, kind of seal it and keep that pressure. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew this bottom. And when we do, we're going to put the other one in there real fast and get it done. Let me get the camera so y'all can see. All right.
All right, y'all got my other screw ready right here. Go ahead and just plug that in there. Like I said, you'll have a little bit drain, not a big deal. Go ahead and screw this down. Again, hand tight. Y'all, that's how easy it is. I'm gonna clean this oil up. That's how easy it is to change the oil on your lower unit. Do that every 100 hours. Uh, when you change your oil on your on your your main your main engine oil, and you'll be good to go. Uh, the last thing you gotta do, remember, put this cover on. That's the last thing you need to do. That's gonna be a four millimeter. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share this video. Um, like I said this is for the Yamaha 250. The operation is going to be the same on most of your larger uh, Yamaha motors. Of course, the amounts of oil and stuff like that you're going to use is going to be different. Um, anyway, y'all, this is Griffin Lips Fishing, signing out.